Hey, Chris here. I'm coming to you today from the middle of the rainforest, somewhere in South America, where uh, I am stuck in a little cabana because a thunderstorm started. So if you hear peals of thunder in between me talking, then uh, excuse that. But anyway, I figured since I'm stuck here anyway, I might as well make a video for you guys. So today what I was thinking about is um, how when I started with this whole, uh, well, actually before, when, when I, I started teaching this whole digital nomad thing, I always had, well, since, yeah, definitely since before that, I've always had a kind of imposter syndrome, which is this feeling that you, you're not sufficiently qualified to teach somebody else about something. And I've, I've kind of had that about a lot of things in my life, or you're not sufficiently qualified to it for a job you're doing, or whatever it is you're doing, you feel like you're not sufficiently qualified for one reason or another. You know, psychologists have actually given a name because it's so common. And I was thinking about this and like why it actually happens. And I believe what it is is because what is what, the things that you know oftentimes seem obvious to, to you, and especially if you know them well. That it, which is kind of ironic because it means if you're more qualified, you're more likely to have this imposter syndrome. So for me, um, being a gringo in the middle of South America is to me because I've, I've done this so much by now, it's kind of commonplace. Like, it doesn't seem like I, I have this special skill or knowledge to me because it just seems like, to me it's obvious because I've done it so much. But I have to realize that not everybody is me. And not everybody has the same experiences. And in fact, they, you know, if I think about it, most of my friends back home think I'm crazy for going to South America, uh, you know. Well, a lot of times I've gone by myself, and they, yeah, they think I'm totally crazy. They think I'm gonna like go out in the jungle and get eaten by cannibals or something. So um, it's it's definitely something that's outside of most people's reality. But on the other hand, everybody does think it's cool to be able to travel, and so uh, to be able to impart the knowledge that I've gained over the years, the knowledge that at this point seems obvious to me, is still very valuable to other people. And I think that probably a lot of other people have the same kind of imposter syndrome that I do, where they, they, almost everybody I bet, knows something that they can teach someone else that would make their lives better. And, you know, it may be something that's a hobby, it may be, a, maybe work, maybe, uh, maybe health and fitness advice, um, whatever it is, probably you know something that other people would love to learn and probably you don't recognize it because to you it seems obvious because you do it all the time, you know it well, and just, but recognize that just because it seems obvious to you does not mean that it seems obvious to other people. I remember I was hearing about Russell Brunson who I've been following for, for a while now, one of my favorite marketers. He was talking about how his first product that he ever sold, his first like information product, was teaching people how to make potato guns, which I thought was funny because you know you, you can't get any more niche than that, right? There's like I I, I, I got to imagine the, the market of people that would buy potato guns is probably pretty tiny, but he made money doing it. So you don't need a huge audience; you just need a few people that want to know what you know. And you know it could be it could be something that that your parents will would have told you their whole lives is never going to make you any money. I mean, you can make guides to how to play video games, or um, I don't know how to make potato guns. Something that's just that's just a hobby that's just playing for you that other people would love to learn, and you can make money doing it. So, whatever it is that you know, that here's the takeaway from this. Whatever it is that you know, think about really objectively whether or not other people know already and two whether they would like to know and probably you could help them if you could get over this imposter syndrome realize that you do have something to contribute then you could probably do a lot of good uh, so that's it for today hopefully it looks like this rain is letting up so maybe i'll escape soon um got any questions or comments let me know